Scott, 59, and Luke Gilby, 25, barely use the garden at the back of their flats in home because it is too overgrown with weeds and brambles. Mr. Gilby cannot let his two-year-old daughter out in the garden because he fears she will become lost in tall weeds some of which he says are over six feet tall It's terrible and it's like a jungle He told Hall Daily Mail. It's doing my head in because it's really nice weather at the moment and I want the garden sorted so I can get swings in for my daughter but at the moment she will just get lost in that grass It grows very quickly, and I would do it myself, but it's not safe. The bramble bush has got thorns on, but there's also bits of broken glass in it. It's doing our heads in, and we are desperate to get it resolved because I want my daughter to be able to play in my garden. It doesn't look nice, people can see everyone else's gardens, so it's a disappointment when they see ours Ms. Scott, who has lived in her flat for 8 years, claims the very back of the garden, which she shares with Mr. Gilby, has not been cut since she moved in The grandma also says ivy and brambles which have grown over the side of a wall have also been untouched since 2014 Both Ms. Scott and Mr. Gilby rent their homes off Hull City Council with the former claiming she pays her service charge in her monthly rent, which includes the maintenance of her back garden Ms. Scott says her battle with the council to get the lawn cut is causing her a great deal of distress and she gets emotional thinking about the state of her garden I'm disgusted with what the council are doing, she said They turned up on June 1 with a lawnmower, took one look and said that won't cut it The guy said he was going to get a strimmer and told me not to lock the gate which I don't like doing anyway But I waited for hours and he never came back. It's just miserable, it really is Looking out of my window and seeing it like that makes me upset It's the misery of constantly having to fight for something they are supposed to do Ms. Scott suffers from poor health and only ventures out for an hour every week She would love to have the opportunity to sit in her garden and soak up the sun, but she feels she can't because it has overgrown so much It has grown out of control, she said. I don't even know what's in it which is quite scary I just want to be able to sit out there and hang my washing in the summer, but I can't even do that because I can't get to the line, so I'm having to use the tumble dryer It just makes me so angry Hull City Council has apologized to Ms. Scott and Mr. Gilby for not cutting the grass sooner The authority has vowed to send out a maintenance team as soon as possible A spokeswoman said, we apologize for the inconvenience caused to residents by the scheduled cut being missed The matter is in hand and we are arranging with our contractors for the grass to be mown as soon as possible 